Hello and happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is episode number 99 of Fluke Fridays. What we're going to go over today is actually a question from a viewer. So if you do have questions and you are a viewer, don't forget to comment below if you have a suggestion for a video. I'm hoping that this um, video will add a lot of value. I'm excited about the question. I think I can bring value to this question. Basically what uh, the question was is um, he's got a 771, which is the baby version of the 773. And he's thinking about upgrading to the 773. He also is looking at a 789 and a 726. And he wants to understand what the difference is and why he would lean to one towards the other. So I'm gonna share a tool with you that Fluke has produced that kind of walks you through how do you choose the right tool when you're looking at process tools. And then also give my take on the difference between the 773, the 789, and the 726, and why you might go with one versus the other, and kind of what they're, why they were designed the way that they were designed. So hopefully this is helpful. Let's jump into it. We'll jump over to the desk and we will look at all these things. Okay, so we've got our tools out here. This is a tool, um, and I'm gonna put this in a post, I think today as well. You can look at the post that I have on YouTube and I'll have this this top cut out. But I'll hold it up to the screen. You guys can pause it if you want to take a closer look. Um, this is a four-step guide to choosing tools. So basically, if you're in the process tool world, how do you choose what you're going to need? So if you think, do I work with four to 20 milliamps? If the answer is no, we jump down here. Well, you might do some stuff with temperature. If you don't do anything with temperature, do anything with pressure. If the answer is no, okay, go buy the rest of what Fluke makes is basically what it's saying. But if the answer is yes, you do deal with four to 20, now we start going down this rabbit hole. So as you travel down this rabbit hole, it's really designed to help you understand, do you have pressure? Do you have temperature? Do you have heart capability that you need? And it'll tell you which tool you can choose. Now, of the tools that we're gonna to compare today, the only one on here is the 726. Uh, the one I have in front of me is the 725, which is essentially the exact same tool, just higher accuracy on the 726. So it, this is a great little chart if you're trying to figure out, I just need pressure, but I don't need four to 20 milliamps, or I need, I need both you know, in this case, over here, right, I need heart communication, I do need to document, and um, so, so you kind of go all the way down the line. I'm working with pressure and temperature, I'm working with 4 to 20, so you get over here, you need a 754 or a 729, depending on what you're using. So it, it kind of helps you figure out where you might start if you're not sure where to start. So that's that. Now let's jump into the difference between these two. This is a 725. Again, the 725 is essentially the exact same as the 726, but the 726 has higher accuracy specs. But the difference between these two, although they look very similar, is extremely different. What kind of person would buy each? So a 789, think of a 789 as a multimeter that does everything a multimeter would do, an electrician could use as a multimeter, but you get over here to these orange areas. Oh, you, sorry, no batteries today. Um, you get over here to these orange areas, and then what you can do is you can actually output four to 20 milliamps, and you can simulate heart, so you can actually drive that loop, and you can um, both source and simulate four to 20 milliamps. Sourcing would be if you don't have a power supply. Simulate would be you have an existing power supply somewhere else and you're, you're just making this essentially replicate a transmitter, okay? So that's what a 789 can do. Again, but higher, much higher voltage rating. See, 1,000, Cat3, 1,000 volts. So you can use these ports for your regular voltage, um, just like an electrician would use. You could measure 480 volts and do everything normal with that. And that's it, right? But it allows you to do 4 to 20 and allows you to put a 250 ohm resistor in it on the process side. Now this tool is really designed to do calibrations. 
So you can see this one says a multifunction process calibrator. This says a process meter. So as a meter, we're thinking more like a multimeter. This is really designed to calibrate things. And what is it designed to calibrate? Well, it's designed to calibrate pressure. So you would have to add pressure modules to this top port. And uh, then you'd have your different pressure modules at different levels and be able to pump those up and see both pressure and temperature at the same time. The other thing is um, down here, you can do temperature. So if you look down here, you're going to have the ability to source and measure. Well, yeah, so temperature. You have the thermocouple, so you can both measure and calibrate that, or you can source um, through the thermocouple. You can also do RTDs, okay? So you've got all these ports for RTDs. So you've got RTDs, you've got thermocouples, and you've got pressure, okay? The other thing you can do with this is just like on the 789, you can source and simulate 4 to 20 milliamps if you needed to do that. So a lot of capability, but this is going to be for the person who's doing pressure and temperature calibration um, and maybe some 4 to 20 looping, uh, but really a process type person. This one's going to be somebody that may be an I and E person. So instrumentation, but he also does, he or she also does electrical use. So that's kind of the difference between these two. This one's a lot more expensive as well, the 725, 726, much more expensive than the 789. I'm not gonna quote price because they change all the time. You can just click the link below and kind of see what the prices are. 773, now the 773 is much closer to the 789 because neither of these will do temperature or pressure calibration. They're only going to drive loops and do loop um, troubleshooting, okay? Again, this one's a calibrator. It'll do loop calibration, the 4 to 20 milliamps. It'll do pressure and temperature. But these two are going to do the loop stuff. Now, the difference between the 789 and the 773, the 789 will do the higher voltage, like I said before, and the low voltage, the 4 to 20 milliamps, this one will only do low voltage, no high voltage capability. So I guess I could show you guys all of these. So this says 30 volts max output on the 773, and then same here, 30 volts max. So these are not designed to be hooked up to 480 or any kind of, you know, house voltage okay but with the clamp what's the difference between this one and this one outside of the higher voltage on the 789 this gives you the ability to clamp on and measure 4 to 20 without breaking the loop you can still source and simulate 4 to 20 you can still measure and source 0 to 10 volts dc so a lot of capabilities for troubleshooting i think if you're only going to be working on low voltage and you only can choose one tool for troubleshooting a loop the 773 has to be my choice um and then you kind of see where we are with these different ones if you're an electrician that needs to measure higher voltages and you need to source 4 to 20 when you're in the field and you only want one tool the 789 is a great choice if you're going to be doing a lot of calibrations you're going to be doing pressure calibration temperature calibration both thermocouples and rtds this is the right choice um, the 725 or the 726 if you want higher accuracy specs and you just need to look at the data sheet to kind of see the difference between the 725 and 726. So hopefully that was helpful. I think that's all I have for today. You guys have a great weekend. This is episode number 99, which is crazy. Next week is episode 100. I don't have anything extraordinary planned, but it's going to be fun. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you hit more than, if you've watched more than three of my videos. Take care.